Today we're going through my Mercedes Sprinter van, Moto van. Uh, this was built by Chad in Peoria. He owns the Moto Box. And uh, if you even go on Instagram, I think you just put in the Moto Box and you'll find it. Um, I'll put a link to him below as well. But he does excellent work. Highly recommend him. Um, everything is built, welded. Um, I mean, soundproofing, you name it, stereo. He does it all. So if you're looking for a van builder, I would definitely recommend them. Um, I haven't had any issues with this van at all. I've been lucky. There was a couple of things that were recalls through Mercedes. Um, but I have 55,000 miles on it right now, and it's been amazing. Uh, you could drive these as a daily if somebody is looking to just only be able to have a one vehicle, you could easily do that. Um, they're big, but they don't feel big when you're driving it. It is a Mercedes. Uh, the quality is there. Um, this one is the 170, 3500. I did go with the dually. Couple reasons why I went with the dually is A, I have a race car trailer and haul the race car. Um, so this handles it with ease. So I needed that 3500 series and dually to handle that. And then also, even with the motocross bikes, even though you lose a little room from the wheel wells, uh, you can still easily put three bikes in there. And when you have crosswind, which a lot of van owners know, um, when you're driving on the highway and it's high winds, crosswinds, the dually really helps compared to just having the single wheels in the back. So probably that alone, even if I wasn't hauling a trailer, I'd probably still go with the dually. Um, if I was gonna do it again as well, I'd probably go for the even the longer extended version in the back, just to make a little bit more room up front and up back. I'd probably just split it. Um, it, would, it would help a lot probably. But for the 170, it's a great size. Um, as you can see, it gives you a lot of room in here. Inside here, you can put, has these cups to put in a table, uh, which has been nice. I've had friends go with me and travel with me where they have to work during the day and I'm practicing during the week and they have their laptop set up and could do their thing. So really nice. This does turn into a bed. So this just pulls out and you could sleep in there. One person's comfortable, two people's a little tight. Um, has some secret compartments in it, which is nice. Has air, uh, front and back air. Uh, we have a 34 inch TV, Xbox, uh, full uh, surround system, uh, front and back uh, with bass and everything. Uh, it sounds amazing. Uh, the seat foam and the leather for the seats has even been changed. So you could drive to California from here and six, seven hour drive straight and it feels super comfy. Um, did a crystalline window tint, nothing crazy. It's legal, legal tint. Um, this company here, what is it called? Overlandgearguy.com. They make these great gear bags and we'll show those in the video. And also these uh, windows, like these window coverings here. Super nice, blocks out the van. They do it for all the windows front and back. Think they're like $1,600, but they're well worth it. They seal uh, with magnets and um, it'll make it, you could be, you know, middle of the day and it's dark inside. Some of the other uh, features, we did do uh, method wheels. All right, as you can see, we have plenty of uh, room to stand. I'm six foot, a lot of room. We did a suede headliner. The fit and finish and details that the Motobox did is great. Um, we have a Blu-ray player, Xbox 34 inch, as we discussed. Um, compartment here, air here, air compressor as well in the back. Um, these cubbies are really nice. Just keep some of my camping stuff in here. Um, plenty deep to put a lot of stuff. And then this bed, like we discussed, comes out to about right here. That pad just goes down. There's seat belts behind here. You can fit three people here. This one as well. Nothing crazy, it's just some basic stuff in here. Then we have lower drawers here. Uh, cutting board. Fridge. 
And then these are closets. You could actually hang a lot in here. So I usually put my motocross gear or any gear that I just want to keep a little bit cleaner and hanging without um, messing up too much goes in here. I could put easily two pairs of motocross boots in there. And then this side, I usually put all my uh, gloves, goggles, helmet, etc. This is the table for the back. And then these over these dually wheel wells, we just have extra space for extra stuff in here. So nothing crazy. This is a divider that we could put. It works by magnetics here. And so the front wheels go here and here. Third bike will go this way. Um, even the fit and finish of thinking about these things, you know, you could put the bikes in here. They hit the wall. They're not going to mark up this material. Um, so this was a great idea by the Moto Box as well. Um, you can see we have plenty of lighting in, in the back here for at night. You can see the back we have uh, speakers, which is nice. Extra areas to put any type of lube, things like that. And lights for at night if we're needing to work on the bikes and stuff. So if you have any questions, comments, let me know. Um, that's the Moto Van. Uh, again, I'd highly recommend uh, the Moto Box for it. Um, and I would never go any other way except for this. I was considering like doing a Thor Outlaw that has the garage in the back. Um, even something as simple as the 29J, do something pretty easy to sort of drive and maintain. I don't really want anything too big because I have a lot of friends that have the big RVs and then they just don't use them unless they're going for far drives or races. Um, so, I mean, it's so convenient having this, especially if you're just going on the track from 7 to 11.30 or something like that for practice. Um, even for one day race days, it works. Um, but I think eventually doing like a, a RV with the garage in it, because I'm not a big trailer fan. Um, as you guys know, if we go to races in California, we have to go like, I think 65 is the fastest we could go with a trailer. Um, so it just makes sense having a vehicle like this where we could literally, we'll have three, four of us going and pulling ass to California or back. And it just makes it a lot of fun because it's, we could cruise by everybody else that's in race trailers. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Any questions, comments, post below, and we'll talk to you soon.